Hey guys, what's going on? Hope you're having a great day today. My name is Jay and welcome back to The Social Introvert. So today in our discussion, we're going to talk about something that's huge. This concept is actually what I attribute a lot of the change and growth that I've experienced in my life. It, it all came, it, it came largely from this, okay? Because this is, this is not something that you can actually do per se. This is more so something that you need to understand in order to be able to do things, in order to be able to change. So uh, first of all, I want to say that whenever I talk about the heart or desires or what you're thinking, things like that, what I'm really for referring to is the mind, okay? Your natural mind, desires, cravings, that kind of a thing. So don't get too confused on that. We refer to it as the heart because it's like our internal desires and whatnot. And I don't know if you guys can hear those helicopters flying overhead, but they're pretty loud for me. So getting right into this, the concept is what Casey Treat calls renewing the mind. All right. Now, let me ask you this first. Have you ever said or done something that just completely shocked even you? Like it was so out there that you were just like, what on earth did I just say? Or what the crap did I just do? Now, a lot of times what happens is we'll have something like that happen. We say something in the heat of the moment or something like that. And then we'll go back to the person and we'll say, hey, you know, I'm sorry. You know, I didn't really mean that, right? Well, the truth is you actually did mean it. You see, there's a proverb that says that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And so what that's getting at, what it's saying is that whatever's inside of you comes out of you. And so whatever you said, you meant it. It came from the heart. The problem was not that you didn't mean to say it. It was that you didn't mean to say it so they could hear you. Ouch. So renewing the mind. There's a whole book on it by Casey Tree. I very highly recommend it. So I want you to think of your brain. Think of your mind as a, a vending machine, okay? Not not a normal vending machine with sodas and snacks and that sort of a thing, but you know those machines, they're at, uh, they're at gas stations and they're at, uh, like, at the exits to grocery stores, at least they used to be more so. Um, they're the ones you put in a quarter, you turn the handle, and then a little bubble pops out. Inside the bubble, there's a trinket, right? Okay, that's your brain. And I know that's kind of left field, that's kind of out there, but I want you to imagine that that's your brain, okay? And so what happens is that whatever you have inside your brain, whatever you have inside of your heart, basically, all those bubbles and trinkets, they represent your thoughts. They represent your desires, okay? And so when life comes along, when a person comes along and talks to you or a situation happens, that's like putting a quarter in the machine and turning the handle and then something random pops out associated to that situation. Now, if you've ever bought something from those machines, you know that it's so freaking irritating to get the one freaking thing that you want. But you're gonna spend three or four dollars in order to get it because you're gonna go through a ton of crap first because they fill it with like 75% junk and then like 10% decent stuff and then whatever percentage we got left, 15% good stuff maybe, you know? so. That's, it's the same way with your heart. Whatever is in there, it, it's not always going to be a selected response, okay? So how do we change what's inside our machine? How do we change what's inside of our heart? How do we change those bubbles out? Remember, we're not just talking about responding with rude comments or something about like that. We're talking about change for your whole entire life. Now this is key, because whatever you put in there is what's going to come out of you. And how you determine what gets put into you happens through time and consistency and conscious selection of what you're exposed to, all right? And I know that sounds a little bit out there, it sounds a little bit crazy, but that's what it takes. Let's use, for example, if you wanted to stop cussing. If you want to stop cussing, number one thing you need to do is stop being around people who cuss excessively. Stop watching movies where people cuss, stop anything associated where you hear cuss words. Because the more you hear it, the more it's gonna be inside of you and the more chance it has of coming out of you. So as, as you build up 
your life against certain things as you start moving things out of your life, guess what it is that you're actually working on? You're working on your J filter. You're working on that belief system that says, this is what's okay, this is what's not okay. This is how I see things, and in this realm, this is okay. So we're gonna build up our, our J filter. We wanna build it up the right way because that's what's going to help us to change the desired behaviors that we want to change. So for today's challenge, what I want you to do is I want you to really sit down and I want you to think what is going to be the biggest obstacle in your life in becoming a social introvert, in changing who you are, in, I don't want to say becoming more social, I want to say in overcoming your weaknesses. What do you think is going to be your biggest obstacle? And you don't have to go into a ton of detail. You can just mention it briefly, all right? So let's talk about that in this, in this down in the comments below. And remember, guys, ask me anything. I'm here. I want to get to know you. I want you to get to know me. That's all we have for today, guys. Um, I suggest, you know, go back, watch the other discussions if you haven't seen them already. Rewatch this one to really get it into you because it's, it's huge. And I'm telling you, it's life changing. That's all I got for today, though, guys. I'm Jay. I'm a social introvert. You be proud to be yourself and I'll see you in the next discussion.